What's going on, Mac? Hey, what's happening? Can you hear me? Yes, sir. I can hear you perfectly, man. Give me one sure. second. Let me get situated. Let me verify for a live. This is the first time I'm doing this, and we're not scripted. Okay. Are we, are we scripted, man? Never. Never, dude. <laughs> we just never did, 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 did we get on online or something and prep this up, or is this the just a live call? No, we just jumped in freestyle. Freestyle, man. Exactly. That's the best way to do it. Now, have I ever shaked your hand before, Matt? No, but one day I'm going to have to shake your hand. Yes, sir. Yeah, we, we, we've never met face to face. You know, we've been doing profit sharing coaching um, through the computer, but I never had the pleasure of shaking your hand. I really would love to. Um, so I'm, I'm glad you joined. Uh, so I want to give, give, give you a hand, man, for getting your very first deal on, on the contract. How do you feel about it? Oh, man, it's, it's great. You know, after seeing all the work, you know, put into it, you know, to see something come to fruition. It's it's a great feeling. It's a great feeling. Beautiful. Well, let, let, let us know what, what did you do before real estate? Uh, before real estate, I um uh, what I still do, I still have life insurance. Um, before that, I, I I've done a, quite a few different things. I used to be a, uh, a service tech for CenturyLink. Um, you know, doing you know all their internet type stuff like that. I was kind of a telecom guy before that, mainly. Gotcha. And, and, and are you a family man? Oh, uh, yeah. Big family man. I have uh, six kids. Well, actually seven now. <laughs> well, congratulations. Um, well, thank, you, thank you. Thank you. Uh, yeah. So, you know, it's, it's tough, man. You know, you, you've got to, you know, when you're doing other businesses and, and, and you've got to make sure that money's coming in, too. You know what I'm saying? So it, it requires a lot of sacrifice, you know, man. a lot of sacrifice. Okay. So let, let, let me hear this straight. You're a full-time life insurance seller, correct? Correct. Correct. So you're not a single guy, is that right? <laughs> you know, I don't oh, no, I haven't been single for I don't know about sixteen years now. So congratulations, congratulations. Thank that's you. that's what I like to hear because your commitment to your relationship is your definition of commitment to your success. That's why you have a deal. Does that make sense? And we'll get into that a little bit later because the type of character you have follows you in everything you do. Does that make sense? And many of my students may have the money, but they don't have the right mindset, and they're just jumping from one branch to another and never have success. So, so what I'm hearing from you is you work full time, you're married for 16 years, and you have six kids, and one is coming, right? And the other, it, right? It's, it's here. It's here, man. <laughs> it's here. It's here. Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. This is yeah. se seven kids. Yes, right. sir. Very good. Uh -huh. Now, it, is it hard to have seven kids? The be the be totally honest. After three, it becomes a blur. <laughs> yeah, you know, you, you you know, you talk to one. Yeah, you, I know who I'm talking to, but the names get crossed sometimes. Yeah, it's tough. Yeah, you know, you got to make you know, make sure the bills are paid. Uh, you know, food's on the table. You know, it's a lot of it's a lot of stuff, man. A lot of stuff goes on with that. But uh, I mean, th 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 this is one of the reasons why you motivated me and why I'm so picky to have people when I filter them, because I don't want anyone to come in here. I want people that actually motivate me for me to go out there and be my dreams, because no matter if you want to be a real estate investor, or if you want to be a public speaker, to be your dream is extremely difficult and you have to extremely sacrifice. Tell us about some of the sacrifice that you have to do, you know, because to to get this deal. Um, It requires, um, you know, instead of watching TV and stuff, man, it requires, you know, when you get home from work, you got to put in the time. And part of that sacrifice, one of the hard things to do is it is sometimes spent away from your family. The time you could be spending with your family, uh, I can't because I'm, I'm, you know, trying to make this thing work. And but, you know, I, it's kind of a long term play, if you know what I mean. You, you have to you do this now. And when things work out, you'll be able to spend more time with your family. I, I'm tired of the rat race, man. I've been in a rat race a uh, lot far too long. I'm just I'm just tired of it. Well, you know? explain to me what a rat race is, okay? What, well, what is that, it? Mean? The rat race to me is, I mean, you know, getting up every day, going to the same job, fight, dealing with traffic, um, you know, all the things that come with it. You don't even own your job. I mean, I'm, I'm working for somebody else, you know. Uh, it's being insurance, life insurance is a little different, but before that, um, you didn't have control over your job. I mean, if, 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 if somebody above you makes a bad decision and they lose a lot of money, 
they might start cutting back, cutting people, you know, you, you know, you don't own your job, you know? So you kind of always kind of, there's, there's, I guess the way I said, there's no um, stability. To me, it's not stability because you, you just don't know. It's kind of a, you know, the, depends how the economy is going. And uh, like I said, the, the company I was working for before, before I started with insurance, I can see the writing on the wall with all the technology, you know, that's, that's come about. Um, no one has a landline phone anymore, hardly, you know. Um, and, and internet is changing a lot of different things and a, lo a lot of companies, are, they don't change, you know, like the company I was with, I won't mention their name again, but um, they were a good company to work for, but they're not really changing with the times. And you can kind of see that they're, they're starting to offer a lot. They were starting off a lot of packages. So I took a package, you know, I took a retire early retirement package package and I hadn't even been there but you know about five years you know so okay and that's my part, life insurance so the, the, the rad race is something what I think about it is where you know you're working you're giving your heart away to a company or you may even be at a situation where you burn so much you're not even willing to give your heart away and there's no security at any time you could get cut and then you got to sit mm -hmm. in traffic you have the fear of your boss kissing up butt um and to me that that's that's not freedom that's not why we're put on earth to do that right is to yeah. spend more time with your family and do what you love okay uh, that's why i'm saying i'm very very lucky because i'm working on my dreams and that, that's the luckiest thing you can do in life right okay right. and you are working on your dreams and, and that's why you're a motivation to me man and you know that's why you're here because you motivate me say hey look dude i got seven kids i got all these responsibilities but i'm still want to be my dreams okay i see you email me sometimes two or three in the morning right so that sacrifice, right? Oh yeah. I mean, that's sometimes that's 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 the only time you have. So you have to, you know, get up, shoot out an email, take care of a few things, and you know, back sleep or whatever. Sometimes it's good to get up that early for me because with seven kids, no one else is up, so everything's <laughs> peace. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you got that time of morning too. You know, so that helps okay. out. Because I hear so many people say, "Man, I have kids. I I, I can't do this. I have a full time job. I can't do this." Um, but you have this stuff too, you know, you have these situations like everyone else. How do you overcome these situations? Um, one of the things you just, you kind of, you have to kind of be organized. I don't think I'm the best, best person to be an organized, but I do have a little bit of organization. You have to organize and then you just have to be diligent. You have to, like I said, you have to sacrifice. I mean, um, so like I say, it's, it's, it requires sacrifice. You have some, you have to change something in your life in order to, to, to get the success. If you, if you don't change anything, you're going to be, you're going to continue to be where you're at. You got to give up something. Yeah. I mean, Bottom change line. is a nice, polite way, but you got to give up something, right? Yeah. Right, right, right now I sleep on an air mattress because I don't, I want to be my dreams and it's going to be extremely difficult. I can't spell. I can't write. I got stutter. I got all these disabilities, right? But Hey, if I live it good, I can't be my dreams. I have to give up something to be my dreams. And many people don't want to give up something. They just want to go ahead and just be it, right? And that's why they get into dead and dead strategies. Um, like last week or two weeks ago, we had a student named Will in our class. And I don't know if you remember, he said that there was an investor that has spent $100,000 of their own money fixing and flipping a property, okay? and But the problem was he had put it on the market for six months the house hadn't sold he had a hundred thousand dollars of his own money plus he had a hard money and now th the time was almost due for the hard money and he was going to lose his hundred thousand plus all the time he invested in fix and flipping okay uh that doesn't sound like a smart idea because how much money did you spend for marketing to finding this deal nothing just what how much money did, did, did you have to put into getting this con getting the deal on the contract Nothing. Sweat equity. Nothing. Sweat equity. Okay. So do you think that's much safer? Do you think your odds of success is this is better? Or borrowing money from hard money lender to 200, putting a hundred in your own of your own pocket, spending maybe three months, six months fixing the property, and then trying to sell it in the market that's changed and now property doesn't sell, you lose everything. Which one do you think is a safer investment? I mean investment is really risky. Which one do you think is safer? The sweat equity. The sweat equity all day long. How many of these can you do to you hit a home run or to you hit a good one versus one of these? How many of these can you do? The ones you got to borrow money, put up your own money. Maybe one, right? 
Yeah, maybe one. Whereas as much time as you got, you know, you have time. Make time for it. Okay. So let, let, let's let's move forward, Mac. So congratulations to you on, on, on getting your first deal. What what were you doing before you joined the profit sharing um, coaching, like to, to, to get a deal? Start us from the beginning and walk us through what you used to do. Okay, before um, I started profit sharing coaching, I was um, basically I was looking at uh, going through uh, the tax rolls and looking at uh, delinquent taxes, you know, and, and that, that's a slow process, <laughs> you know. But again, I got that from you too, you know, I got that because you, you give out a lot of free stuff, um, you know, and I'm thankful for that, you know, and that that's what got me, got me moving like, man, you know, he gives out so much stuff just free, you know, so. But yeah, before that, I was, I was basically just doing, um, looking at ta going through tax rolls, and and, okay. setting up and, and 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 setting out what letters? Yeah, just trying to contact people just to see if you know they were interested, you know, if they alive or not, you know, interested in, you know, selling their properties or not. And and how long were you doing this for? Oh man, I'd say before I got into the profit sharing, it was probably about. I would say two months, not too long, not long at all. Okay, very, very good. I'm, I'm glad you're one of those guys that quickly took action because I know people that have been doing it for two or three years and still haven't wow. done their first deal. Okay, wow. so I'm, 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 I'm proud of you. All right, so you and, and were you able to get some results then? Well, not really. I mean, I was. It was. It was a big learning process still, too. You know, I mean, just just learning how to navigate because. Um, and here in Florida, you know, all the different counties have different websites and they're not all the same. And so it was just like I got I got good, you know, navigating the, the county. I'm here in Lee County, but, you know, like down in, you know, Collier, Naples and Tampa, you know, it, it was it was just the learning process. And it was like, well, maybe I ought to just stay in my back my own backyard where I'm familiar with, you know, because it was the learning process with every every website's a little different. Absolutely. Okay, so so then you, you you joined the profit sharing, and let's walk through. Give us the outline of you know how did you get this deal? We know you didn't spend any money in marketing, right? Right. Zero. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, walk us through. Give us the outline how you got this deal. Um. Basically, just in a nutshell, I I use um what what you what you teach us. Basically, um, using the sweat equity for the most part, just um, the, the things, you, the, the, the skills that, that you teach us that basically. Um, flipping you know, Wednesday, right? I mean, the way you just. Flipping the way it's so much more, though. It's flipping Wednesday. It's, it's, a, whole, it's a whole bunch of stuff. But it, it's a, you give it, you feed it to us in like um, breadcrumbs, you know? And then you do this step. After you do this step, you, you move to the next step, and so on and so forth. And one one step leads to another. You don't just blast us with everything, and you know, where you're like, oh man, I don't know what to do. Which way, you know? So it's like master one thing, then move to the next step, master that. And okay, now you got that down. Move to this, move to that. You know. So it's like I got I understand what I'm doing each way, each way. You know. And so it was pretty simple, straightforward. You know. Pretty simple, good stuff. But real estate is a very, very complex business. Like I said, I know people that have spent fortunes and never even spoke with a seller, never even given an offer, don't know what a motivated seller is, any of that stuff. So what we've done at Mr. No Fluff is just making three stepping stones, right? And what you, what you just said is this first thing you focus on is you put your headlights on like this and you focus on the very first thing. Once you, that happens and sellers start knocking on the door then you focus on the next module right mm -hmm. and once right. that happens then the next module so the very first module is flipping Wednesdays the, the leads start generating mm -hmm. then, then you go ahead and use the ninja phone scripts to filter them out right right, right? correct okay. and then right. once you filter them out what do you do next well well after you, you filter them out uh, typically what you what we do is um you want to you want to contact them. You want you got you to talk. You know that's right. You you talk to them. You, you know you ask them the ninja phone scripts, and then you give them the terminator offer letter, right? That's right. That's right. That's where it all hinges on, right there. That's now, key. Now, yeah, that, all this aspects of key, but we just simplify. So so you just do very very simple stuff, okay? Now, yes. if you can follow instructions, you're gonna find a motivated seller. 
you spend zero dollars in marketing, correct? Right. No bandit signs, right? No bandit signs, nothing. No direct mail. No direct mail, no. No Facebook ads. No ads at all whatsoever. <laughs> no ads at all. So you just use flipping Wednesdays, okay? Now, ladies and gentlemen, what, what, what I want to explain that Mac has only used one tool to generate business. For example, in my advanced class, like the Alchemy Stones, we create 13 ways called a marketing plan to generate you business, and all 13 are for free. I've only given Mac just one tool. So Mac is not doing anything else. He's not doing like ads, he's not doing Facebook, he's not he's just, he's just using one way to generate free business, and he's already found himself a deal. And more importantly, he has a couple of deals in the pipeline that will, I believe, in my opinion, they're gonna be deals very, very, very soon, okay? Um, now, do you follow what I'm saying, Mac? I mean, you're just using just one marketing. Yes. I always recommend 13 to 19 marketing. You're just using one. I mean, you're not doing much of this one way to market it. That's it. That's it. Yeah. The, okay. The digging. I'm doing all the digging here. <laughs> That's it. That's right. And now, or, or, you talk to so many sellers, right? I I, I know you've, you've given a lot of offers, right? How many offers have you given? Oh, I say I've given probably about about fifty offers. Okay, now here here's the thing that's totally different from profit sharing, Mr. Nofla, versus other places. Other places have you drive around all over town, go look at houses, run the cons, this 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 this, right? But how do you do that when you have a family of seven? How do you do that when you're full time? Well, you can only do it by using my systems because you did most of this stuff over the phone, right? Over a computer. Yes, sir. right. I added yeah. 50 offers. I think you only went to like one or two houses, right? Yeah, just one actually. Just one. One. Okay, yeah. so and, and this ain't the one that you got on the contract, correct? No, that's not even the one, no. Okay, so let's get this straight. Did you go to this seller's house that you have the deal on the contract? Did you have even have you even gone to their home? Uh the one I have on the contract now. Um I I, I I went to her house to for the contract, to sign a contract, but um before that. We had it. We done everything over the phone. Matter of fact, she called me, you know, from the flipping Wednesdays. She so, called me. That's what's funny. <laughs> the, the, so, so you did ninety percent of all the work over the phone. The ladies like here yep. on a platter, like come, come, come get it. And that's oh, yeah. the only time you went out to this someone's house, right? Oh yeah, that's it. So yep. that, that that is the difference between using twenty five years of systems understanding psychology, understanding how to scale it so you can have a virtual assistant do it in India for you. What you're doing right now, eventually you can have someone in India do it for 75 cents an hour called my VA Exponential, but you're doing it right now because you, you're trying to build your capital, what have you, okay? So the systems is so simple that you've given 50 offers, you got a bunch of motivated sellers in the pipeline that I believe are gonna hatch, and you already got one deal, and you haven't gone to anyone's house besides one person. And this one person, you did the 90% of the negotiation all over the phone and the computer. They said, come get it. They said, here's the platter, come get it. And you just went over there. Right? What, yeah. what, is that right? Or did you go, when did, did they sign the paperwork in front of you or did they email it to you? No, this one they signed it in front of me. Beautiful. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. beautiful. This is an beautiful. extremely motivated seller. Extremely motivated seller. Okay. So what, let's, let's talk about this deal. So, we talked about basic the overview. The, what you did is you used free marketing, flipping Wednesdays, which you got at a deep discount, right? By by being a profit sharing coaching, right? right. And you'll get your money back once once you do are uh, your nine deals. Okay. So you use flipping Wednesdays. Once they start calling in, you use the ninja phone script to filter them because everyone's not your audience. Then you start giving them offers, which is step number three, the terminate offer letter. Now, do you think that terminate offer letter works, man? Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I, I couldn't. Yeah, I don't know how you do it without it. You gotta have something like that. Yeah, it's uh, that's it's great. It's great, very simple, right? Yeah, it's there's straightforward. Been, it's all cut out. There's, right there's people. You. There's people that you haven't even talked to. You send them the offer, and they usually call you back at least once or twice, right? Oh yeah, never talked to. Okay, so guys, if you don't have that, definitely want to join the profit sharing. You're gonna get like 90, 89 percent off, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. So just by being a member. Plus you get your money back once you do your nine deals. No joke. The, the tools are just, just to make sure 
you generate leads and do deals because uh, you get paid and I get paid when you do deals, okay? Now, the sellers came in. You say, he is it a he or a she? Oh, it's a she. Okay, what makes them motivated? Um, they're behind on payments in the house, and uh, they're just going through a tough time. I mean, it, it, I would say it's, it's emotional with financial. Um, the, the lady, her, she was, she's actually, um, her mother and father lived in the house, and her father's had two strokes, uh, and her mother's having some mental issues, and she's just, just basically, you know, just she's trying to hold on to the house. She was trying to look after them. Um, so she's really motivated and uh, she's just really just looking for any help she can get right now. So. Okay. And, and, and now you're, 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 you're going to create a one, one situation for the seller and for you, <laughs> you're going to do all this work and get your first deal. And how much are you going to be making off, off this first deal? Yeah, pretty much. Three um, K. So three K, right? Three K. Guys. So anyone out there, if you know anyone, Max been working hard. He got seven kids. I'll vouch for him. He has great values and ethics. Unlike I, guys, I mean, you're you're sitting here. I I, I just count at least 19 people that I kicked out of my profit sharing because I didn't feel like they have the right mindset or ethical values. And I was like, no, I don't want to deal with you. Okay, but I never met the guy. But he does what he says. He shows up. He I seen him email me two or three in the morning, and you know he's motivated. He's trying to help this home seller out. Her parents are in, in a tough situation. Max only going to make three thousand dollars. This is an assignment fee. So on this property, you don't have to get a loan. You don't have to have credit. Why not, Mac? Why don't they have to get a loan or have credit? Well, the main reason is because you're going to assume the uh, the loan existing loan. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on. You're not going to assume it because not Mac is. It. The assume is to yeah. Your credit that they run your credit and yeah, but basically you take over her payments. You're gonna take over her payments. That's right. Sorry, sorry to correct you, Mac, but no, you're right. absolutely right. What the reason that you anyone out there can buy Max deal without having the whole purchase price, okay, without going getting money from the bank or credit or anything like that, is because the seller is willing to do seller financing and they're allowing you just to take over their monthly payments. Again, the seller is willing to let you just take over their monthly payments because she is motivated. Her parents are sick, and Max willing to create a win-win situation and help out the home seller. Plus, just make three thousand bucks. That's not that much money, right? By creating a win-win situation, and if you want to do this too in your own local area, then I highly suggest joining profit sharing. Um, it gets you deals now. You got to have your money right, plus you got to have your mindset right. Because if you don't have the right mindset, I'm not allowing anyone in there. Okay, uh, just not worth it for me. And you have to have good ethical values. Uh, you know, if you're shady, just no. Okay, we we don't allow that. It's just I don't want to encourage other people to take advantage of sellers. We want to create win-win situation that when Max sees that seller five years from now, she's like, oh man, thanks for saving my home. You know what I mean? That kind of situations. Isn't that right, Mac? That's what you want to do. Exactly. Exactly. I, I couldn't sleep at night if I was taking advantage of people. I'm not that type of guy, you know. So, and I believe what goes around comes around, you know. So, absolutely, no absolutely. It's a good feeling. It's a good feeling helping people. It really is when you can sit down and 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 talk with them, and and you become the solution for them. It's it's a great feeling. Okay, so l l let me quickly show th this house to you. Now, this house, guys, is in Florida. This is not a, like a word. I haven't seen it, but I'm looking at it on the map. So th th this is where it is, right? I don't know if you guys can see that. I'll, I'll show it to everyone. It's right next to the ocean. Holy moly, right? I mean, it, I don't know if you guys can see that. Very close to the ocean. Uh, and let's let's look, look look at the house real quick. Now, this doesn't look like a you know a war zone or trashy home, right? Can you guys see that? Right. There you go. It's, it's a nice looking home. Now it, it probably needs repairs. But it's not one of those things where you got to bulldoze it over or anything like that. It looks from, from the picture of it, it looks like it's livable. It's a great rental property. Okay, why is it a great rental property, Mac? Oh, it cash flows. It cash flows. Um, the 
the the average rent in that area is uh, between four, fourteen forty five and uh, fifteen hundred. Okay, so simply put, the average rent is from this is this is rounded up fifteen hundred bucks. And what what is the monthly payments on this lady's mortgage? I believe her monthly payments are at uh, was it ten sixty five? Ten yeah, ten sixty five. Ten sixty five. Okay, let's just say round it up. Ten sixty, guys. So for ten sixty is our monthly payments, okay? And the the monthly rents around the area are going for fifteen hundred bucks. We're just rounding up a couple of bucks just to make it simple. Now, is that a good cash flow property? Oh yeah. Right. Now you don't have to get a loan from the bank. You don't have to get a hard money lender. Here's the great thing about this deal, because I taught Mac how to negotiate. He was able to get a deal with a non-recourse loan, which means that whenever you buy this property, you're not going to sign a promissory note. Unlike if you go traditionally with a hard money lender, if you go traditionally with um, a traditional bank. With this, there's no hard, there's no promissory note. So, so all you're doing is is just taking the sellers, their, their payments. You're creating a new deed of trust. The seller's gonna be your bank. If you default, the seller will just take the property. But we're, we don't wanna sell to people that are gonna to wanna to default. We wanna sell someone that's gonna do what they say. Again, the whole business is about doing the right thing instead of the shady thing. So we, if, if we think you're not gonna commit, we're not gonna give you the deal. Simple as that. Is that right? That's right. Okay. So have you gone to this area, Mac? Yeah, I've been there. I've been there. Like I said, I went through there. Um when I, I got her to sign, uh, I used to kind of work in that area too. So it's, it's, a, um, let's say it's a middle-class neighborhood. It's got some, it's got some pretty good, uh, pretty good spots in it, really good spots. And then, you, then it's got some lower middle-class as well. It's kind of a mixture in that area. Okay. Now Max said something that, Hey, it, you know, like he said it like, and he's new, so please don't get him. He said, Hey, it's a little, you know, entry level home starter home not like if that's the bad thing but that's really not a bad thing because i'm i was trying to pull it up there was a there was a in, in the apple news you guys want to go look at it entry level homes first time home buyers homes are gone you know people want to buy an entry level home and they have to pay so much so the entry level homes are going up in price. Same thing as in Vegas. Like if you have a house in Vegas, and if your house is three hundred thousand above, it's gonna sit on the market forever. You have a house less than that, it goes really, really quick. You have like one hundred fifty thousand dollar, boom, it's gone, because the population is becoming poor and poor, and so they're looking for entry level homes. But what the everyone's building is bigger and bigger and bigger. It doesn't matter what level you are, they were just building bigger. In like Beverly Hills, instead of having mega mansions they're having giga mansions right and entry-level homes instead of having a hundred thousand dollar homes or hundred fifty thousand dollar homes depends what part of the country you are okay now they're having four hundred three hundred thousand so there is no more entry-level homes that's why it'll move quick because there's a big demand for entry-level homes now what i specialize in is only entry-level homes so I, I only buy entry i don't i don't buy mega mansions or five hundred thousand dollar homes okay i just entry-level homes because Everyone, the majority of home buyers in America are entry level. Okay, I, I don't have the statistics that I used to. It was like sixty percent or something, but it changes. Okay, and then two, the mortgage is so much lower. Three, you get a crazy cash cow. So on this property, what is the interest rate? Do you remember? Um, the interest rate is four point three seven five. Okay, so guys. There's, here's a property where you can just take over the payments. You don't need a loan. You don't need a bank. You don't need any credit. Okay. You just got to pay uh, the arrears and you just got to pay max $3,000 assignment fee. I mean, he's not even trying to like yell. He's just like, so look, he's just trying to learn. Okay. He understands. He's not a greedy guy. He says, look, I want just to do a deal and barely make any money. I invested some time into this. I, I put my money up to learn, but I'm just willing to just break even because it's better to learn and not be greedy and shadow and learn. Eventually, he's going to make his money. And he's not being greedy. Three grand. Uh, you don't need a loan. You can just take over the seller's payments. The interest rate is less than 5%, four point something. Okay. If you went to a bank and you want to get a rental property, what do you think your interest rate is going to be? Anyone? Do you know? Bank? I know it's at least going to be double that. I'm thinking 
you're looking at probably eight, eight or nine uh, com uh, investment properties. Yeah, really high. You, you nailed it on the top, dude. Now, my, most people say, well, well 30 year no notes are very low. That's because that's a homestead. You're going to live in this property. If you want to get a commercial property, right, you're going to be paying a lot of interest rate. And more importantly, you're going to have to be putting a lot of money down because you can't get an FHA 3.5%, whatever, right? You're going to at least put 20% down easily. Okay. Now, what what is the value of this home? What what is the loan balance on this home? Like one thirty three or something? Yeah, one thirty three. It is. It is. That's, okay. that's right around. One thirty three is, is the loan balance. It's behind. Okay, and you have to pay three thousand dollars to Mac, but it cash cows. It's not a house that you're gonna buy and have massive equity, but it is a cash cow property you're going to get at least 400 to 500 dollar plus on the property without putting refrigerator without putting washers because you get more for that stuff okay now you you went into this house what what type of condition is the house in man um the house is in in good condition overall um the the back lanai which is like what they call here florida summer room or or florida room it i think the, the lanai roof uh needs some repair to it but the over, the actual roof of the house is in excellent condition. The AC is is two years old. Everything is fairly new. Um, they just had bought that house two years ago. So, right. so, so like, can you get, get turn it, get these people out and instantly rent it out? Is is it in that condition to just be rented out? Maybe oh, yeah. spend like a thousand bucks, oh, yeah. cosmetic or something. Oh can yeah, definitely. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. Gotcha. Oh, yeah, definitely. How far is this house from the ocean? from the ocean <laughs> uh, what about four or five miles not far at all <laughs> not far at all so like you get out it, sits, it sits on the Caloosahatchee river that dumps right into the gulf of mexico it's right it's right right there right there guys i i mean this is the zip code right here i don't know you guys can see it's not far at all from the from the ocean uh and i mean what 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 city and state is this in this is in Fort Myers, Florida. Fort Myers, Florida. Okay. All right. So the, does the house have a good backyard? Yeah, the backyard's good. It has. A, they have a shed in the backyard as well. It's a pretty good Beautiful. backyard. So now you have the pictures, you have everything, and you're ready to show the property, right? Oh, yeah. Definitely. All right. So, guys, if, you, if you're interested in buying Max property, it doesn't matter if you're in Florida, you're in any other state, okay, you can get with, contact with Mac. Uh, just leave a message and I'll, I'll shoot you his information. Um, or Mac, if you want to let people know what your cell phone number is. Yeah, you guys we'll, can reach me. We'll, we'll, we'll just put it on the, on the bottom of the YouTube description. Okay, oh. once everything's up. Message Mac. He has a property. He'll send you the pictures. He has, he has the seller um, ad ready to give to you. You could text him. You could call them. He's ready to get this deal done. Remember, this is a subject to deal. What does that mean? The seller's willing to do seller financing. All you got to do is just take over the payments. That's it. Mac wants three thousand dollars. There's a fifteen hundred dollar non-refundable earnest money. Uh, so, if you're not ready to buy this deal, don't play around. We we want to see your proof of funds. At least Mac does. That's the way I'm going to teach him. I'm going to send you that coaching one-on-one -on -one later, Mac, before the night's over. But he's going to need a proof of funds before he's ready. To you know, give you the address. So don't message them unless you already have your food of, uh, proof of funds, okay? Ready to go. When we say proof of funds, we're not wanting a letter from some corporations. We need to see actually your bank account number that has the funds to cure the back, pay for the closing, and pay for max 3,000 bucks, ladies and gentlemen, okay? So if you're ready, make a deal happen, leave a comment, message uh, Mac, and I'll put his information there once the live is over. So Mac, tell us about the profit sharing. How do you oh, like it? Would you recommend this to someone? Yes, sir. Um, yeah, uh, definitely. I would recommend it. There's an old saying out there that iron sharpens iron. So by you know one one head instead of having one head, you put all a bunch of heads together. Um, and we also work together in that profit, profit sharing as well. You know, we kind of we can team team up on different things. Um, but it's it's been it's been well worth the money. Well, <laughs> you know, actually, it's it's kind of a steal. You know, because it's worth more than what what you've been charging. You know. So, but I, I've seen all, I've seen some huge gains. And I mean, since I've been in it, I've been seeing like month after month, uh, just exponential success, really. I mean, you know, I, I went from really not knowing too much about real estate at all to, you know, 
signing, you know, doing deals, you know, it's crazy. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> Right. Giving 50 offers, never driving to look at any house besides one, getting a deal on the contract. You didn't have to borrow no money from a hard lender. You didn't have to use your own money. You didn't have to put up any freaking money on marketing, nothing. You said behind your computer, use my creativity, my imagination, my systems, and here you are. Okay. Now you have a lot of good more deals on, on the table. Let's look at this deal that, that you sent over that you just given an offer to another lady, right? You went to the lady's house or send them by email. Right, this deal right here, Brian, or uh, what was it? yeah, there it is. Okay, go ahead and talk about this though. This is a hot deal. This one has decent amount of equity, right? How much equity does it have? Um, uh, he's he's probably got about a good twenty grand in equity, and and um, he's the house is vacant, and he's he's living in another city already, and but he's. he's He's keeping up on the payments and, you know, he's paying, you know, all the stuff that comes with a house, you know, your electric bill, uh, everything, everything's up. It's a very nice house. The house is only, the house is only uh, two years old too. It's brand new. It's pretty much a brand new house. So and, check uh, this out. Brand new house, right? Mm -hmm. Vacant. Doesn't need any repairs. The payments are current and roughly the, the, the seller has about 25,000, dude, 20 and some change, almost 25. They owe, I have the paperwork right here, a mortgage of 176, and the houses around the area are selling for 205. No repairs, not behind, right? Pretty low interest rate, right? Right, right. Smoking deal. So talk about this this deal. You went, you, you found them. How much money did you spend to find this seller right here? No money, once again. No, Wednesday. no money, ladies. I mean, like, you're not doing bandit signs, direct mail, yellow pages. I mean, you're not doing any of this stuff, okay? You're spending zero money. How's that possible, dude? <laughs> how's, how's that possible, huh? How is it possible, like, a new guy, you don't know much, you're spending no money in marketing, you're not driving all over town looking at property, you're sitting in the comfort of your home, just making phone calls or on your computer, and to get a deal. Oh, my God. I mean, like, think about that. And it's, it's it's crazy. It's 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 a, it's a blessing. It's a blessing, though. But um, the one thing I am learning is that uh, the way we've been thinking, we've been taught to think, is is what's been holding us back. It's it's uh, the creativity we we lack is why we we miss out on all these things. And uh, it's amazing, man. It's amazing. <laughs> you said something that, that that I teach all the time, which is you got to stop thinking because we think too much. We're here and we think, we think, we think, what happens here, what happens here? When you're thinking, we go here, we think there, we go here. There's all these questions and possibilities that we're thinking, thinking. And then we've also been, through propaganda of school made that we're a B or a C or an A. And you know, we're not like that. We have unlimited power and potential. It's just us believing in ourselves to allow that to come out, right? Because a guy like me that can't spell, can't read, you know, refugee, Hey, I'm helping you do a deal. Like, man, it's so honored. I'm so honored to this. Like, hey, man, you got six, seven kids. Boom. I'm so honored to be able to, in five years, see your life change, man. Like, where else can I do that, man? Like, seriously, dude. You know what I'm saying? And guess what? I spend zero money to find you. Listen to this. I spend zero money to find you. You spend zero money to find a seller. You're going to help a seller. This is what I'm talking about. You don't need money to be your dreams. You don't need some prerequisite like a credit score or some type of capital. Now, you can go those routes and nine out of 10 businesses go bankrupt. Mm -hmm. But, and that's one of the, like we saw William, you know, I had to let him go out of the mastermind because he didn't have the right mindset. But, you know, he found the seller, the seller was spent a hundred, thousand dollars an investor in a property of their own cash spend a lot of months fixing it and also a hard money lender who do you think is going to survive the guy that's in debt to a hard money put 100k put put months in couldn't sell this home or someone that spent no money in marketing said it is home they spent no money in gas and see no houses but still finding giving 50 offers and has at least two or three motivated sellers in the pipeline they're about to bust like one right here this is a different deal ladies and gentlemen. this is a different deal okay this is a different deal. Beautiful home, brand new home, $20,000, $25,000 in equity. Where can you go do that, man? I mean, where, seriously, where can you go do that? Uh, join the profit sharing. That's all I can say. 
So <laughs> Join do, it's real. Do you, do you recommend? Do, 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 do you think that it's a good investment? Oh, it's a great investment. If, if you, but the only thing I say, make sure you got the time. Make sure, make sure you're willing to do the work. If you're not willing to do the work and put and make the sacrifice, don't do it. But if you, yeah. if you're willing to do the sacrifice, it will work. It will work. It definitely will work. So there's three requirements. Okay, he said two of them right. Okay, one. You got to have your money right, which is not that much. It's only $199 a month. It's not expensive, but it's not for everyone. Okay. Two, you got to have to put in the work. Okay. If you just have the money, but you don't put the work in, then it's never going to work. It's like paying for a membership and never going to the gym. You got to get to the gym. Membership ain't going to get you fit. All right. And number three, dude, and this is why majority of my students have gotten kicked out of profit sharing. You got to have your right mindset. Right, you got to be grateful. Mac is grateful, right? You got to be grateful. You got to be able to motivate me because Mac motivates me. He's like, Man, I got seven kids. I'm like, Sometimes, like, Man, I got one kid. This is hard. And I'm like, Then I listen to Mac. I'm like, Man, shit, no, man. That's what I want. That's that's what he means. Like, still sharply still. You got to have the right mindset because if you have the money and you and you have the other stuff and you don't have the right mindset, you will be eliminated immediately because I'm not going to tolerate that. Now, I'm not doing this to be mean, it's because I'm not chasing money. I want to chase someone's life and be an impact. The only way to do it is only work with selected people. I can't just take everyone. Now, if you want, if you just want to just come in somewhere, then the academy. The academy is unlimited access to my courses and one meeting a month for just $99 a month. But if you have your money right, you got your mindset right, and you're willing to sacrifice and put in the work, then the profit sharing is a $36,000 course. You know, get you deals. You're willing to take action. I don't care if you're working full time. I don't care if you have six kids. I don't care whatever the situation is. You got no money, no credit. If you're willing to do the sweat equity, because what I like to teach is any fool can teach you how to make money by spending money. But it really takes a genius to try to make money with, without spending any money. And I teach you how to spend, how to get your business without spending no money in marketing and tools so you can blossom. Okay. All you're going to require is sweat, sweat equity. Okay. Now, is it really hard sweat equity, Mac? I kind of enjoy it. It's not hard for me at all. It's it's easy. I like it. It's fun. I like I like um, you know, because it's it's a reverse to me compared to real uh, uh, insurance because insurance you're talking to people all day long. People tell you no, 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 no. Whereas you're, you're, when you're doing this, it's the opposite. You know, when people you're you're calling people, talking to them. They're they're the motivated people are motivated. They're calling you. They're chasing you half the time. You know. So it's now you understand what a, now you understand what a motivated seller is. But more importantly, you understand who your audience is. Oh yeah. Because so many people are running around going to all these houses and they're they're not even focused on their audience. They spend all this money and energy, not even on their audience. So what we teach at the Mr. No Fluff is how to use your imagination, creativity to generate money, and then take this money, take the free money to put into paid marketing. So we use free to then the profits into paid marketing. Where everyone else is tells you to do paid marketing. Get in, get it, put it on your credit card, get into debt, whatever the story is, just to get you in debt. Uh, we don't do that. We, we, I don't like bankers. I don't like debt. I believe that you and I are more powerful than any stupid prerequisite or any banker, okay? We don't need bankers to be free. Actually, they enslave us, okay? All right. Now, Mac, do you have any advice for anyone that wants to uh, get in real estate? As a real estate investor, if you're if you're thinking about getting into it or you're really considering it, I would consider I would very seriously consider joining uh, the profit sharing. Definitely, um, it, it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna warp speed your progress if you if you put in the time. It's gonna it's gonna warp speed it. You know, instead of yeah, I was like when I was just doing the uh, the tax roll thing, that's a grind. But when you get in this, it's it, it things start moving really fast. When, when you were doing the other stuff, were you able to get fifty offers? No, not at all, man. <laughs> were, 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 you, were you even able to find one motivated seller? I think I may have talked to one one guy, you know, barely, you know. It was, and, you know, he was like halfway, you know. So it was, yeah, it was, it's tough <laughs> running, running the tax rolls. It's tough. Now, imagine if you were spending a thousand dollars a month to advertise. How many months could you go before you would tap out? Say, look, man, I'm not getting any business. Oh, 
doing that, I'll, I'll probably be tapped out after the month too. <laughs> I'll be okay. gone, man. I'll be quick. Quick. And most people do. Like we were in a meeting. I don't know if you remember Q. She spent. She said she spent three hundred dollars sending out a letter. She did three months. It was like nine hundred bucks. Didn't find one motivated seller. Her phone didn't even ring. Okay, so you will get tapped out real quick. Now it doesn't matter if you have if you have a business and you have great money, right? If you're spending a lot of money and you don't know who your audience is, like right now you know what a motivated seller is. Imagine if you're spending a thousand dollars and you did it for 12 months and all these people are coming in and calling you, but you don't know who, who to spend your time with. Because so many people are calling. Mm -hmm. Do you want to put someone, do you want to go across town to meet someone and they're not motivated? I mean, you have a family of seven, you work full time. Do you have time for that? No, not at all. Uh -huh. that, that, that's a waste of time. Waste of time. Do you think people are out there right now driving to go meet a bunch of sellers? Absolutely. I think nine out of 10 investors are doing that. Okay. Yeah. Unmotivated sellers just driving out there. Yeah, that's sad. It's tough. Yeah, if you're doing I, that, you need to get with Mike. You need to get in the profit sharing, definitely. If anybody's out there doing that, <laughs> you just you definitely get in the profit sharing. <laughs> definitely. All right. Uh, Mag, now, do you have any other advice, any other things you, you want to tell anyone that's new, that's thinking about starting or already started the process and they're going to difficulties? Um, anybody that's, that's in, in our profit sharing or just in general? Just uh, in, 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 in general, you know, they're in real estate, you know, they're going to difficulties. Like, how did you overcome your difficulties? You know, because I remember the very first deal, you know, that's on your pipeline. The seller was motivated. She was in the hospital. She had two properties. Right. Let's yeah. talk about that. You yeah. made that mistake. Calling her, calling her. Right. And you pushed her away. Right. Right. Yeah. Um, it's a learning process. You can't. Don't expect to get everything right the first time around. You know, it's this is a this is a class. It's like it's it's you're learning. Um, yeah, I, I made some mistakes in the first one. Um, you know, all the way around, you know, but I learned from them, you know, but, but here's the thing you, you were, you, let's say if you didn't have a coach, you wouldn't even known that was your mistake. Oh yeah, definitely. I, I wouldn't have known. It would have took me like to make that mistake probably 10 more times before I started saying, Hey, maybe I need to change, you know, what, what I'm my approach here or something, you know? You're right. It would take you 10 times. But the problem is, let's say if you only had a thousand dollars a month, well, you have 5,000 right but you, you could only go five times but you just say you need 10. see how you would lose all that money you would never reach your goal yeah, yeah. see what, what what i allowed the, the students to do is to get into the batting cages and start practicing hitting the bats without any putting any money into the to, into the machine that's that's the key of success i'm allowing everyone to practice with, with sellers especially motivated sellers, how to talk to them, how to filter them, how to give offers without putting any money in. Because if you had to put money into the batting cages, you might only be able to do one round, two rounds, three. You wouldn't be able to talk to 100 and get 50 offers. Because the money wouldn't be there because it would take a while to get the deal, right? So you would run, not you, I'm saying most investors would run out of money, just like Q. She says you did one month, no one called. Two months, no one called. Three, no one called, tapped out. Never got a deal. Mm -hmm. So the key is to be in a batting cage and have enough practice so you know how to hit the ball, right? And when you hit the ball, you're going to be in a surplus versus negative because you're in debt, or you put you put your own cash up. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. All right. And, and, any other comments, questions? Not really. All right, so let's, let's recap. Mac has a deal. You could just take over the seller's payment. It's in Florida. It's right next to a beach four or five minutes away. The house needs very, very repairs. I haven't looked at it, but just from the pictures, it needs very, very repairs. The seller's willing to let you take over the payment. All you got to do is give Mac three grand and pay the arrears and just take over the payments. It is a cash cow property. It's ready to go. You can rent it out. Maybe you can spend just a couple of Bucks if you want to, just clean it up, put it out on the market. This is a motivated seller. This is a non-recourse loan, okay? And all you need to do is pay Matt. Is that right? Three grand. That's it, three grand, that's it. In Florida, what city? Fort Myers, Florida. Fort Myers. Guys, you guys pay attention to Matt. He has two or three more deals that I believe are gonna be coming up in the next two or three more months, if not sooner, okay? Uh, and, and I'm very interested to bring those deals to you. Okay, uh, let's let's show you the deal one more time. 
before we get out of here, here's the property. If you're interested, give Mac a call. Great, great deal. I'm, I'm very happy for you and your family, Mac. Uh, leave a comment, guys, and we'll message you. And very, very good, man. I'm looking forward to the next deal, Mac. Okay, yeah, it's coming. It's coming. Working on it. Yes, sir. We're Thank you, man. I'll, I'll see you this Saturday, man. And I'll send you a message tonight regarding what to do next. Okay, appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks Have again, a great night. Mike. You too, man. Thanks.